Golden Books, The Pokey Little Puppy Comes to Sesame Street by Anna H. Dixon, illustrated by Tom Brannan. Are you ready? Here we go. Five little puppies dug a hole under the fence and went off to explore the big city. Down the walk they went, across the street, and up the hill toward the park. The pokey little puppy was last. <laughs> of course. Suddenly, Pokey stopped and stuck his little black nose up in the air. <laughs> he smelled something wonderful. The pokey little puppy scampered around the corner following his nose. Oh, look. Twiddlebugs. When four little puppies when four little puppies got to the top of the hill, they stopped and counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Where in the world is that pokey little puppy? They wondered. The pokey little puppy had found Sesame Street. Wow. Sesame Street, everyone's favorite neighborhood. Pokey ran over and dug a hole under the fence. He crawled through it to the other side. Pokey saw a cozy place to rest. He curled up in it and fell fast asleep. Someone is sleeping in my nest, said Big Bird when he came home. Big Bird took Pokey to meet his friends. They found Ernie and Bert sitting on the steps of 123 Sesame Street. Are you the real Pokey little puppy? asked Bert. He sure looks like the Pokey little puppy to me, <laughs> said Ernie. Pokey smiled at them and wagged his tail. Suddenly, the trash can lid flipped open and Oscar the Grouch popped up. I've heard about you, he said. Aren't you real pokey? <laughs> oh, yes, said Grover. He is that cute and adorable little puppy from the in the book. The pokey little puppy wagged his tail again. Pokey's nose twitched. He caught a whiff of something delicious and ran off to find out what it was. Did you see that? Asked Zoe as Pokey streaked by. That looks like the Pokey little puppy, said Elmo. Only he doesn't seem very Pokey now. Zoe and Elmo decided to follow him. Pokey raced down Sesame Street to Hooper's store. In the kitchen, Cookie Monster was taking freshly baked cookies out of the oven. Hello, Pokey, said Cookie Monster. Want a cookie? So everyone had milk and cookies to celebrate Pokey's visit. Oh, look, there's all the Sesame Street friends. There's the Twiddlebugs and Big Bird and Ernie and Bert and Grover and Cookie Monster and Zoe and Elmo. And there's Humphrey and Ingrid and baby Natasha. Welcome to Sesame Street, Pokey, his new friends cheered. At the end of the day, the four little puppies ran home and crawled through the hole under the fence. Dinner was waiting for him, was waiting for them. Where in the world is that pokey little puppy? They asked. Just as they were finishing their rice pudding, Pokey straggled in. You missed digging in the sandbox at the park, said his brother. 
You missed dinner and dessert, said his sister. You missed all the fun. What a pity you're so pokey. Oh, is it? But, poke, but the pokey little puppy just smiled and curled up in his own little bed and fell fast asleep. The end. Gee, it's really great to make new friends and go to a new place. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. And stay tuned for tomorrow for a special Thanksgiving read aloud. See you later. Bye.